Drifters is undoubtedly one of the most popular shows airing in fall 2016, especially in the West. However, despite this popularity, much of the show's story and characters revolve around a Japanese history that is not covered extensively in Western history classes. Join us today as we give you a short introduction to the Japanese history in Drifters. Although he's the main character in Drifters, Shimazu Toyahisa was a relatively minor figure in Japanese history. He hailed from the Shimazu clan, the ruling daimyo of the Satsuma domain from the 12th century until 1947. He served much of his career as a samurai under his uncle, Shimazu Yoshihiro, during such engagements as the Battle of Kyushu and the Odawara Campaign. In 1600, it was said that Toyohisa participated in his final battle, again under his uncle Yoshihiro at the Battle of Sekigahara. This was a massive and decisive battle between forces of Eastern and Western Japan. In the West, combined forces loyal to Toyotomi Hideyori, and in the East, a similarly combined force of those loyal to Tokugawa Ieyasu. The Shimazu clan, hailing from the far Western domain of Satsuma, were allied with Toyotomi Hideyori, and the Western Force, and as such fielded 1,500 men. The outcome of the battle would ultimately spell defeat for the Western forces, meaning the Shimazu clan soldiers were sent into an all-out retreat. It is said that during this retreat, Toyohisa gave his life to fend off enemy troops so his uncle could escape. It is this final act that is portrayed in the first episode of Drifters, and single-handedly sends us into the adventure following Toyohisa's death. One can make a very good argument for Oda Nobunaga being the most important person in Japanese history. He rapidly rose to power in the mid 1500s after his father Nobuhide's death. Although Nobunaga was a legitimate successor to the Oda clan, a lot of the inside factions supported other sons, not in the least because Nobunaga acted outrageously at his father's own funeral, throwing incense at the altar. After slaying his own brother Nobutomo, he was able to cement his seat of power inside the clan. In Drifters, Nobunaga is painted as a ruthless ruler with a love of firearms. From what we know about him, this is not far from the truth. Nobunaga subjugated a lot of Japan very rapidly through his brutal pragmatism, at the time novel use of castle fortifications, and the creation of new units and militaries for long pikemen and firearm brigades. Both of these weapons, as stated in Drifters, are easy for farmers to pick up and be trained on. Particularly of note is his obsession with gunpowder and firearms. Nobunaga's interest in the Western world is well known and well documented. He helped sponsor the first Christian church in Kyoto, and was one of the earliest recorded Japanese figures to have worn Western clothing. On June 21st, 1582, on the verge of total conquests of Japan, one of Nobunaga's top generals and retainer, Akechi Mitsuhide, betrayed Nobunaga and attacked him at Honoji Castle in an event known as a Honoji Incident. There are a lot of unanswered mysteries surrounding the Honoji Incident, mostly concerning Akechi Mitsuhide's motives and whether or not Nobunaga took his own life or was killed in the fray. One of Nobunaga's last acts was to order his page to set fire to the castle so Mitsuhide would not be able to take his head. <laughs><笑><笑> One of the three main drifters in the manga and anime, Nasu no Yoichi, was a famed archer who fought for the Minamoto clan, often alongside Minamoto no Yoshitsune, in the Genpei War. There is a famous excerpt in which he is able to hit a paper fan on top of the mast of an enemy ship in a windy sea while riding his own horse in a show of sport. 
The skill and confidence in archery carries over to his character in Drifters, who trains the elves in bowmanship and leads a recon special forces team. However, in real life, Nasunoichi retired as a Buddhist monk and founded his own temple, which continued to be passed down to the oldest son in the Nasu family until it was destroyed in World War II. Although he is yet to have a major impact on the story in Drifters, the historical Minamoto no Yoshitsune is regarded highly as a samurai warrior and tactician and had great effect on one of our main characters, Nasu no Yoichi, fighting alongside him for the Minamoto clan. Born in 1159, his father was killed while he was still an infant, but the killer spared him and left him to a monastery. At age 15, Yoshitsune left the monastery to join his brother in northern Japan. Not much is known about Yoshitsune's life at the monastery, but much of it has been filled in with classic Japanese literature, most importantly Heike Monogatari, which paints him as a skilled swordsman, great tactician, and honorable hero, though a bit naive. The historical records after he joined his brother show a gifted military leader despite his young age, helping his brother and clan to establish the Kamakura Shogunate and usher in Japan's first period of feudalism. As with many large personalities in history, his many successes and accolades spurred on jealousy from those around him, resulting in one of his many half-brothers turning on him. After holding out for some time, he was eventually forced to commit seppuku, after which his head was sent, preserved in sake, to the head of the Minamoto clan and his oldest brother, Yoritomo. <laughs> In a rarity for the time, Abe no Seimei's actual life is very well recorded. Born in the peaceful Heian period, which is known today as the peak of classical Japanese art, poetry, and literature, Seimei served as Onmyoji for the emperor and the government, making astrological calendars and advising on spiritual matters. Seimei led a long and healthy life, and soon after he died many legends were created around him, mostly involving mystical powers and battles with demons, and some even going so far as to say he was only half human, his mother having been a fox spirit. In Drifters, Abe no Seimei takes on a role as a sort of sorcerer, leading the Octobris organization much as he led the Onmyodo in real life. One of an Onmyoji's chief duties is exercising demons, and Seimei can be seen in the show employing classical Onmyoji techniques like magical talismans in battle. Abe no Seimei died peacefully in October of 1005. The emperor had a shrine built at the location of his home. <laughs> Hijikata Toshizo, probably most famous in the West for the character in Gintama based on him, was the vice commander of the Shinsen Gumi, a special police force organized by the military government of the Tokugawa Shogunate in 1864. He is most famous for being a key figure in the resistance against the Meiji Restoration, a period in which the Japanese political power structure was consolidated under the Emperor of Japan. He and another key figure named Kondo Isami formed the Shinsen Gumi in 1863 eventually rising as its leaders. The rule of the Shinsen Gumi was short-lived in Kyoto, lasting from 1864 to 1868, but was marked by their strict regulations and Hijikata's harsh enforcement of them, which earned him the nickname the Merciless Vice Commander of the Shinsen Gumi. By 1868, the Tokugawa Shogunate was on its last legs, with the Loyalist forces of Emperor Meiji knocking on their door. With Kondo Isami surrendering to Loyalist forces and being summarily executed, Hijikata resolved to defend the dying shogunate until his last breath. From then until mid-1869, Hijikata led the remains of the Shinsen Gumi against the Loyalist forces, eventually culminating in the Battle of Hakodate in which Hijikata's forces took the fortress of Goryokaku and attempted to establish an independent republic called the Republic of Ezo. On June 20, 1869, Hijikata was killed in battle while on horseback by a bullet that shattered his back. A week later, the forces of the young Republic of Ezo had surrendered, and the last resistance to the Meiji Restoration had been silenced. Hijikata appears as one of the ends in Drifters, his ability manifesting itself as ghosts of his former comrades that can cut his enemies down. This is a perfect representation of Hijikata's life and legend, 
as he witnessed the deaths of many friends and compatriots firsthand. Drifter's brash and loudmouth World War II fighter ace is actually a relatively obscure figure in history as told by the West. Naoshi Kano, a lieutenant by the time of his death, is considered one of Japan's top fighter aces of World War II. Born in Miyagi Prefecture to a policeman father with a strong sense of nationalism, Kano enrolled in the Imperial Japanese Naval Academy in 1938, graduating from its separate school of naval aviation in 1943. Due to his skill behind the stick and the desperate situation Japan was facing towards the end of the war, Kano would be one of Japan's best surviving fighter pilots by 1944, when he was assigned to the 343rd Naval Air Group and given his own command of the 301st Squadron. The 343rd perfectly represented Japan's dire position at the end of World War II, given that it was comprised of all of Japan's last surviving fighter aces. He remained here for almost a year, flying near constantly in an attempt to stall the Allies' heated advance towards the Japanese home islands. In August of 1945, just days before the surrender of Japan, Kano and his squadron took off from southern Kyushu to intercept a flight of American B-24 Liberator bombers. During this mission, he was shot down by American P-51 Mustang fighters, and his body was never found. After the war, he was enshrined in the controversial Yasukuni Shrine in Tokyo, along with the rest of Japan's war dead. He would eventually be credited with somewhere around 25 confirmed kills. Kano was known to be rebellious yet skillful, and this comes through to a fault in Drifters as he is constantly speaking in a slang-ridden dialect and cursing up a storm. Furthermore, his aircraft, the Kawanishi N1K-J Shiden, the standard fighter of the 343rd Air Group and considered by many to be the finest land-based fighter Japan ever fielded in the war, appears alongside him in all his appearances. Admiral Tamon Yamaguchi was a key officer of the Imperial Japanese Navy, a graduate of Princeton University, and a central figure in the opening salvos of the Pacific Theater during World War II. He is most well known in the West for his role in the attack on Pearl Harbor, the planes from his carrier force striking at the United States Pacific Fleet anchored at the naval base there. Hailing from Tokyo, Yamaguchi graduated in the 40th class of the Imperial Japanese Naval Academy in 1912, ranked second out of his class of 144. He rose to the ranks quickly as a dedicated and aggressive officer, reaching lieutenant by 1918 before traveling to the United States to attend Princeton University between 1921 and 1923 in the interwar period. He was promoted to captain in 1932 and given his first command in 1936 of the cruiser Isuzu, followed soon after in 1937 by the battleship Ise. By 1940, his meteoric rise had resulted in his promotion to rear admiral, and the second carrier division was placed under his command, comprised of the aircraft carriers Soryu and Hiryu. After the attack on Pearl Harbor, Yamaguchi led his carrier force from his flagship the Hiryu in the Battle of Wake Island before participating in one of the most important naval battles of the war, the Battle of Midway. It would mark the first time that two opposing forces of aircraft carriers would face off against one another, and it was also when Yamaguchi's aggressive and sometimes insubordinate nature would rear its ugly head the most. When a reconnaissance plane discovered the U.S. carrier USS Yorktown near Midway, Yamaguchi demanded an immediate strike despite the fact that most of their planes were armed with bombs instead of torpedoes. Yamaguchi's superior officer, Chuichi Nagamo, rescinded this order in favor of waiting and rearming the planes. The order proved to be fatal, as soon American carrier aircraft destroyed all but one Japanese carrier, Yamaguchi's flagship Hiryu. Despite successfully crippling the Yorktown, the Hiryu was eventually doomed, and Yamaguchi was killed in action, choosing to go down with the ship. Legend has it that Yamaguchi and the ship's captain, Tomeo Kaku, 
went down with the hold and burning carrier while admiring the moon. In Drifters, Yamaguchi is a drifter himself, appearing alongside the defeated aircraft carrier Hiryu. The men under his command are heard shouting Tora 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 as they claim victory, a reference to the code phrase used to signal a successful attack on Pearl Harbor. Though the Japanese word Tora usually means tiger, in this context it actually is an acronym for Totsugeki Raigeki, or lightning attack. 